The target was bin Laden, but a U.S. official says the terrorist leader was killed relatively early in the operation. At least half the 40 minutes the Navy SEALs spent on the ground went into collecting laptops, hard drives, CDs, and paper files. As the president told Steve Croft in his 60 Minutes interview, the follow-through was as daring as the hit. They killed bin Laden, and they have the presence of mind to still gather up uh, a whole bunch of uh, uh, bin Laden's material, uh, which will be a, a treasure trove of information uh, that could serve us very well uh, in, in the weeks and months to come. A task force is now working round the clock to analyze and exploit not just the videos released over the weekend, but a staggering 2.7 terabytes of data, the equivalent of 220 million pages of text. A U.S. official says the task force comes up with another intelligence nugget on the average of once an hour. Everything from leads to other terrorist leaders to how bin Laden communicated with the rest of al-Qaeda. We've got a chance to, I think, uh, really deliver uh, a fatal blow to this organization if we follow through aggressively in the months to come. Every minute the SEALs spent collecting intelligence from bin Laden's compound was another minute the Pakistani police and military had to react. Two backup helicopters carried more SEALs in case the ones in the compound got into a firefight with Pakistani forces. U.S. warplanes orbited just on the other side of the Afghan border, ready to come to the aid of the SEALs on the ground or to intercept any Pakistani jets that attempted to shoot down the helos. If it had ever come to that, Katie, an already rocky relationship with Pakistan would have been ruined. David Martin of the Pentagon tonight. Thank you, David.